Okay, this is a true replica replication of the Dr. Stifler or Stifler Loop project experiment where he ran an LED board, 110 volt LED board, using a function generator or signal generator only. And no exciter, just the signal out of a signal generator, um, single feed, no ground attached and got the board to light up more than just glowing and uh, this took me a little while to get it get it going here but uh, I've, I found this really inexpensive function generator online and bought it and it was only 50 bucks and let's see if I can get this to go here or if you can see that or not that is a uh, 13 megahertz at 20 volts on a sine wave and I've got it happening here and you come off the signal generator with a single feed into your coil. You don't attach the ground. The ground is left open. goes through the coil. At a certain frequency, the coil goes into resonance. resonance. And then you go into an Averminkel plug arrangement through an LED array. And it lights up. And the whole area gets energized and that's what this is about right here this is a field tester and there's no batteries or anything on this this is just a coil with two of those one in 4148 diodes uh, and four LEDs in series and this is where you can see the event occurring where it's not only the board but it's the area around the board that gets excited. See that little LED going off right there? This is another Stifler loop. That's the original one. That's just two switching diodes joined at one end and then attached to the legs of an LED. And this is what we all have used that have worked on these projects for a tester. And this tests the field of one of these exciters. And this is what differentiates it from almost anything else I've ever worked with is you can uh, use this tester and see the field all over the place using one of these uh, Averminkel plugs. And like I say, this one here um, goes off in an area around this situation. Now this is not at 13.5 or 13.6 and that's because of the coil arrangement here. This is not exactly the uh, Stifler Sec L3 coil. This is different and with this little coil tuner I was able to get close but you can do this at other frequencies I found out. It's not restricted to 13 megahertz. I had this running pretty strong at 11 and a half by adjusting this coil dimension here. So this is not strictly one frequency. That's that's kind of a misnomer. And uh, I'm going to adjust the frequency here. and Watch this go out let me get this up to the frequency here. Function. Okay, now I'm at the frequency function. I'm going to turn the dial for the frequency. Watch this go in and out. As I go up to and beyond that 13.1 megahertz, this goes in and out of the resonance. Anyway, this is a verification of what Dr. Stifler showed. It can be done. It can be done with a very inexpensive function generator. That was 50 bucks right there. And so far, I haven't blown it up. Uh, there is a back feed to it, I'm sure. I hope it has protection diodes and, and filters in it, but uh, it does work. Thanks for watching.